Hey, what's up, y'all? All right. I know it's been a while, but you know what? I'm around. Um, uh, up until recently, I had been around on Instagram, but Instagram. Uh, I guess I'm banned. I don't know what's going on, but uh, the day before Thanksgiving, I made a video talking about Chili's. It's my favorite restaurant. I talk about it all the time. Um, <clears throat> uh, LA was about to go back into uh, shutdown, like shutting down restaurants where you can't even eat outside on the patio, which is my jam at this point in life. Um, and well, I heard that restaurants were gonna get shut down. And because I go to Chili's so super often, um, I had to swing by to see if they were gonna be shut down. <clears throat> And I wound up catching them on their last day, right? So I posted about that. And then that night I went to, no, that was the day before. So I was posting it the day after. And on that day, that Wednesday, I went to a soul food restaurant um, in LA. It's supposed to be famous for what I don't know. Okay. Because it was not it was not popping okay um <clears throat> but the line was super long around the corner it took over two hours for me to even get in the restaurant um and i ordered food because uh because it wasn't cooking i worked on thanksgiving i worked the day before thanksgiving i did not work the day after because that's my regular day off but um yeah so i got some soul food so i posted a picture of the line and i was talking about you know i need me some yams and some macaroni and cheese and some greens i mean two regular posts and next time i go there they're like no i try to like a post and it's like mm -mm. we restrict some activities to protect our community okay from you, from you. Um, I'm wondering what I could do to a community by liking a post. I'm wondering what did I do to the community in the first place. Whatever. So, I thought it would last a day. I mean, I went and I liked so many things by mistake because I keep on forgetting. <clears throat> and it's been almost a week. So, it's to, today's Tuesday, right? So, tomorrow is going to be Wednesday. It's going to be a whole week. That I have not been able to get on Instagram. I'm wondering, right? You know how people post things and it be real shady and then they try to take it back. And then they say, uh, oh, my account was hacked. All right, check this out. My hosting plan for my websites is hacked. It's hacked. So all of my websites, it's like, you know, 17 of them or so. Um, I don't even know if I got websites for all of them. I don't know. Something around that number. It's a lot of them. Um, they hacked the whole account and they are selling all kind of, I mean, they are spamming and scamming people through my websites. <clears throat> so I've been having to try to go through and clear it out. But they said that they think that they got me, got to hack me through, um, maybe through my computer. Because I was like, do I need to change my password? They were like, girl, we think they got your computer. But I'm like, how and who and why? Um, so... Yesterday when I turned on my computer, there was a big square thing on there with like a lot of code, coded words or whatever. Like what the fuck is up with that? And then <clears throat> today, I uh, got some uh, emails and the email said, oh, here's your Google account because you asked Google uh, re password or reset password or something like that. Um, don't share it with anybody, but yeah, you must have, uh, you asked for it. And I'm like, I have been at work all day, so I didn't ask for it. So somebody is hacking the hell out of me. And it does not feel good. So I, I mean, I'm not trying to make no excuses. I do be acting up on Instagram sometimes. <laughs> I'll be acting up sometimes, but I, I really I don't recall, you know, any argument anything nothing that I did that would uh, cause any type of problems uh, on uh, That day or around that time. So I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway <clears throat> I think you know where I'm at Chili's all right, so um, They got curbside margaritas still and I come here to do the whole curbside margarita thing because they will not let me sit down over in the little seating area, right? So I had intended to go to the park, but I didn't. I went to a park yesterday and I just walked around, but that park was so corny. So I gotta uh, 
check out more parks and i'm look i'm getting into the park thing right now because i need to feel like i do more things than just go to work and go home and take that nap and go to sleep and then wake up cook some food and go back to sleep my life is dull i mean dull okay and it was dull before the COVID because <clears throat> you know uh, having been married I had all of my activities and stuff I guess with my husband or either I was dull no I was dull I was already complaining about you know um, everything that I did I had to do with him and I didn't have any more friends anymore because my friends like fell off because you know I never go hang out or do anything or whatever um, so <clears throat> after uh, leaving him I really, I didn't have any friends. I didn't have anywhere to go, nothing to do. It was really quite sad, really quite sad. Um, and my old roommate, the the one who's crazy, who I have the videos about, um, he will always tell me, he was like, you gotta get out more. He was like, I never seen a person so angry to have a day off. So I was working so much. When I had a day off, I mean, I literally, I don't have anything to do. I don't have nothing to do. So the thought of being home, for 24 hours i don't own a tv or anything like that i'm like i'm just going to fucking be home and do nothing i have nothing to do i got no friends i got oh lord lord so it was driving me a little bit bonkers and i was like i'm about to get me some friends and then the covid came and it was like mm -mm, you ain't about to get no friends so um yeah life has been duller than dull Except for little bits of excitement, you know, you, some good things got to happen. All right, so I have my little journal that I hardly ever, ever write in, right? But I'm supposed to be really trying to work on focusing on something that I really, really want, right? Um, and I guess even manifesting it, right? Um, so I want to start, like, writing on that. I might rip those pages out of here because it's not particularly a journal entry. But it's something that I need to do and I've been holding off on it because I didn't want to gain any certainty in this area. And right now, I need to grow the hell up and gain some certainty. And if things that I really want to be around don't wind up being around, if they wind up going because they aren't meant for me, then... I'm going to have to deal with that eventually anyway. So might as well just go on and set your intentions right now, right? So I have that. That's my regular journal. And then this is my gratitude journal. And it says, uh, today calls for glitter. Um, yeah, because glitter is sparkly and fun and exciting, right? So um, I write in this a bit more than I write in my journal. Because, I mean, child, I don't never write in that journal. <laughs> supposed to be journaling i'm like mm, i ain't got nothing to say but i'll be tired i don't know uh but the gratitude journal just I, you know just random things like uh i could just sit here and like say i'm so grateful for these margaritas because i did tell you about the curbside margaritas right okay so curbside chilies you have to order food so i got those uh texas cheese fries i am lactose intolerant but if bay is not around child I don't gotta care so I can eat cheese at my leisure and speaking of Bay I don't know if I need to be calling him that but whatever I got me a little boo thing I will probably be on here talking about some of those things uh, of giving you way too much information I mean TMI because ladies ladies fellas first of all close your ears because I don't even want y'all to notice about me there are some there's some things going on in the area, the lady area. I'm gonna have to have a talk about that uh, with some with, with, with some of y'all, and I'm gonna see. It's gonna hurt some of y'all feelings, and it's gonna um, <clears throat> it's gonna be insightful. All right, um, and I'm gonna share it because I don't even care, cause cause he don't care, and he kind of care. But he just, like, you know, glossed over. Like, girl, mm -mm, that that's that's fine. That's all right. So, yeah, um, I'll be getting into that, and I'll probably I'll I'll talk a little bit about you know, dating uh, or trying to be intentional about dating or whatever. There's the whole little single life, which is really really hindered because of the COVID. Because in my regular life, before my husband, I don't know, I was you know, about 15 years younger. A little bit cuter, 
hair was longer because it was fake um and <laughs> and a little bit more uh confidence with talking to men and uh, flirting and all of that stuff because i was very very used to it it was a part of my common uh life it was very very common for me to meet tons of men all the time i was a party girl i entertained the hell out of men and uh i dated a lot a lot um but right now i'm feeling a little bit a little out of my element a little bit lost just because i've been off the scene so long and because i have aged while i was off the scene um and i would think matured in some sorts of ways as well so um yeah we we, we can have some some dating talks i don't know if it's going to get you know because i'm not like an expert at dating because apparently i keep on picking the wrong mugs right the wrong dudes so i'll never be a dating expert uh video maker i might be a sex vi uh, a, a sex expert though i'm not i'm not kidding y'all i'm kind of awesome but anyway oh uh, <laughs> anyway um like i said i'm here with this i think it's called a merry go reader which i don't know what the hell it's called um and I'm going to write some things here in my book because I just don't want to go home because I don't want to feel like, you know, a nerd who just goes to work and goes home. So I'm in the parking lot of Chili's. Um, oh, maybe I should hightail it over to the park because then it could be fun at the park because I'll have some beverages, right? And a fun, uh, park would be a little bit more interesting to uh, write and clear my head in than a parking lot at Chili's. And ross and the gap and you know red lobster Ooh, red lobster for the seafood lover in you okay um i don't know what i'm gonna title title this video because my videos just be so ridiculous and so random all of a sudden right um but i did i have been dying to get back to you guys and make videos and i just feel so like weird in my my new place because i never went to get my furniture from my old place so I'm a little bit semi furniture -less. My bed, my uh, bedroom set that I bought, I don't have it. I don't know if that man has destroyed it or thrown it away. I don't know anything. I've never spoken to him again. But I do have intentions on, you know, following up, see what's up, and trying to get my stuff. But yeah, that's the that's most of the holdup. And also my roommate, I kind of, you know, he's not used to me making videos and talking to myself loud as hell in my room. And I don't know if I want him to know about my content, um, <clears throat> especially since some of it may at some point be about him. So it's, it's, it's making me feel a little iffy about the whole situation, but I'm going to figure it out. Even if I have to start just making videos um, like from my car, like I'm doing right now, because this is my own personal space, right? And I own it, okay? I own it. So I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to, I really am going to head to a park um, and start uh, writing uh, what I have been talking about writing uh, to be intentional uh, yeah and, and and set my focus on a very specific thing um, and any of the, the other things that I wanted to talk to you guys about I will be talking to you guys about that in a later video I'm always trying to find some good light because um, child my bang is looking thin but my hair is growing okay Nobody asked. I'm just telling you. Anyway, um, <laughs> also, if anybody works for Instagram, ask them what I did wrong. Why? I got to get back on the gram. I got to get back on the gram. Anyway, I love y'all. I'll talk to you later.